Hi, it's Chris McGrew from Pandora Presents Great Venue Series. We're here at South by Southwest with episode three of our three-part series. We are here at South by Southwest. It's, uh, it's the, the last day that we're going to be here. It's Saturday, and uh, we're going to the San Francisco South by Southwest Showcase. It's an all-day affair at a club on 6th Street called Bourbon Rocks. Um, it's being hosted by the folks at Talking House Productions, or a San Francisco-based company. I think Talking House is doing an excellent job at making, um, kind of creating their own scene. Like, this is the Talking House scene, you know, saying, these are the bands that we enjoy listening to, and it's all about San Francisco. There are bands here that I've never seen in San Francisco, that I didn't even, that I've never even heard of, and now, we're gonna go back to San Francisco and we're gonna play with them. We've already set up three shows just being here tonight. Figured out how it's gonna be. The songs kind of take on the, a life of their own besides like rehearsing them and recording them and then there's the live version. And it just becomes this big like beautiful mess and the energy level just like skyrockets. Fake up, box office nightmare chat. Set to the places you discovered. Take you a minute to adjust your eyes. Looking too brightly out of million nugget skies. I think you would be a fool to think that you were going to come here and get signed by a major label. That's not what this is all about. This is about finding other bands to play with, finding people that can help you book shows. I mean, it's just about having a good time, I think. It's about coming out here and being and seeing a bunch of bands you've never seen. It was fun. It was hotter than we expected, but we like this. It's better than playing indoors and it's better than playing in the cold. It's all a matter of the band getting used to the sound, the, the, the different gear that they're using, whether it's the drum set, or the uh, keyboards, or even the amps. Those things all affect the way we feel and perform. It's a community, you know, we see people that we play with before, and it's of course our label, so it's always fun. And But then, we're also part of the big family of South by Southwest. We have another set in uh, like 25 minutes, about five blocks away. I'm not so interested. So we're gonna run uh, one block over and five blocks down and hopefully get there on time. All right, let's do it. What's the use explaining everything you swear is true? I'm believing less in what you do. Are you misunderstood? A perfect storm. What do you think about the luxury of the fact that this whole street can be blaring loud until 2 a.m. all the time? It's incredible. I can't believe that nobody complains. I mean, the whole thing is just insane. I've never seen anything like this. Very cool. That was definitely the most surprising thing to me. I was like, I don't even know how a street can sustain itself bar after bar after bar. It's awesome. I haven't seen, at least I have, you know, just myself, but I haven't seen any other city like completely represented in like a big way like San Francisco here. fortunate that we're staying in a hotel like most of our friends are you know staying in you know in a house with like you know 15 other people and they're crashing on people's floors. Well the last few days here at South by Southwest have been uh, pretty uh, crazy pretty eventful just been a lot of awesome bands in a very short amount of time.
like, you know, necessarily like sell CDs or merch or try to make money. It's just, you know, more to like, you know, the other day we played at, you know, Noise Pop, Little Radio, and we got to play with the Ravenettes and Place to Bury Strangers, and like, that's an opportunity we wouldn't have had otherwise, so pretty awesome. The uh, first show we played actually uh, didn't involve a soundboard. My amp blew up, and, yeah. uh, and then I had to play through her guitar amp, so I think, uh, you know, the goals uh, for here, you know, being here at South By is just, uh, just to have fun and play, you know, play as many shows as possible.